my name is Hai Ling. I'm a software engineer on the PyTorch team. Uh, today I'm going to present you PyTorch Hub. Uh, so what is Hub? Hub is a pre-trained modal repository designed for easy to use. Uh, in the past, when you try to reproduce some uh, results from other developers, you will have to clone the repository and uh, read through their readme and figure out how to set up the exact environment with them to make the model run. Basically, Hub uh, try to reduce all those steps for you. It defines a common interface for, pub, uh, for model owners to publish their model so that it's super easy for users. You can just get their model in one line. Uh, it's super useful for research exploration and plug and play development. Uh, currently, PyTorch Hub has a live web page on PyTorch.org. Uh, we have more than 25 models in different domains, uh, image segmentation, uh, classification, uh, language, audio, and GANs. So I'm going to go over a few examples here. This is the transla uh, translation model from PyTor uh, uh, FairSeq team. Uh, you can see a uh, code snippet, how to get the model. Uh, we, pro uh, we provide a few language pairs, uh, pre-trained models that you can play with right now. So we have English to French, German, and Russian. Uh, you can uh, click on the Colab Notebook link and uh, play with it online. Uh, next example is about speech generation from NVIDIA. It basically allows you to generate audio from a string input you give them. You can even listen to the generative audio uh, uh, either locally or on the collab. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about the language models from Hugging Face. They do have a hub Entry, uh, entry point, but it's currently broken that we will be fixing it soon. So if you want to explore these models, you can go to their GitHub uh, repo and uh, play with their, uh, they have some code examples there that you can use. Uh, it's very useful uh, for your application because they can uh, be the feature extractor and uh, super convenient. Uh, we will not cover all the models here, but I will just go over the Torch Hub APIs really quick. Uh, import Torch, of course. Uh, then you can just use the Hub Load API to load the English to German transformer model from FairSeq REPL with the uh, right configs. Then you can just it's translate whatever sentence you like, it will be super easy. Uh, there is a button on the web page called Open on Google Colab. So you can click on that, it will redirect you to the Colab notebook. Uh, if you want it run faster, they do provide free GPUs that you can use and speed up your inference. Uh, lastly, if you want to deploy your model and for the down, downstream application, we have an online tutorial to uh, explain how to do that with AWS and using Flask. So do check it out if you, this is useful. Uh, I hope PyTorch Hub is a useful feature that can save your time uh, exp uh, on the Hexum. So I'm going to, I think that's, I, I'm going to stay here in the back and answer questions about PyTorch Hub. Uh, so Ms. is going to talk about uh, our new release. Thank you. Hi. That, first, I just want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, I think it'll be great to hack together. Uh, I'll be uh, hanging around as well. Um, PyTorch Hub, as Eileen presented, probably will help you a lot in uh, making sure you get things done fast. Uh, we also released a 1.2 release um, just about one minute ago. Uh, and uh, 1.2 uh, mainly adds a lot of new features to the PyTorch uh, JIT 
and taking models to production. So unfortunately, not a lot of it is useful for like the hackathon. However, PyTorch 1.2 has uh, a ton of changes that helped build up to new uh, releases of Torch Vision, Torch Text, and Torch Audio, which have a lot of really new and good features, uh, like which will be very, very useful for not just for the hackathon, but also like uh, for further like R and D that you want to do later.